Uh, um, yeah, this is in game right now. Like, this is my account. This is not no like. This is like in game. So you can literally see what she does. I didn't know this. I didn't know. I wish someone told me. Um, yeah. So you can literally see what she does, which is cool. Um, so she's basically the Nilu of Overload. Now, Overload is kind of a dog shit reaction, but what's cool is that a lot of Electron Power characters are pretty good. So like Raiden, Bennett, Changling, that's already overloading by accident. Uh, Yoimiya, Fischl, Beido, Shangling, Hu Tao, no, not Hu Tao, you want to vape on her. But anyways, um, so basically she gives you 40%, uh, she reduces the re Electro and Pyro res of enemies by 40% once you overload. She also gives you up to four, uh, how much attack? 40%? Where is it? Yeah, up to 40% attack. And her C6 is fucking oh, 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 way better than uh, C0, it looks like. It gives you up to 20 times three, that's 60% power damage and electro damage bonus, which is a lot. Uh, and she heals you. Now, this is all, for, I haven't tested her at all. Like this is just from reading the talents. From my understanding, this is all from your skill. So I don't know what the point of her burst is, that's what the point of the mask is. I literally don't know. Like, why do you even press Q on her? I, I don't know. I have to play her a bit to see. But like, literally, why? Where the fuck is it? Where's her burst? Hello? The damage. Whoa, oh, wow. I can't wait to deal damage on my Nilu. Sorry. It's actually a decent scaling. Um, it, it's not like bad. Yeah, it's not bad. So like, you know. But you're probably stacking HP. Um, wait a second. Does that? Wait, never mind. Are you? Wait, wait, it is bad. Wait, am I- wait, am I missing something? You buff based on your HP, but your burst scales on attack? Wait, your damage scales on attack, but your healing and your buff is HP. Okay, yeah, why would you even- wait. <laughs> why would you even go for damage? Or, I mean, it's not a Dea moment, because she's like Nilu, like she'll just buff your damage regardless. So, who cares about her damage? I mean, you could stack her damage if the da- okay, if the damage she deals is better than the attack you would gain to your party. So let's say you're 20k HP without trying, you give everyone 20% attack. Would Chevreuse's damage be better than 20% attack to your Raiden? Maybe. I mean, probably, because you're already running Bennett and stuff. I don't know. Maybe. I'll have to figure it out. Versus good for iframes? Yeah, of course, but... I'm saying, is it worth going crit, or do you just go fucking HP? But yeah, I, I assume you already get enough attack, so you might not need to actually stack HP. Um, huh. Maybe you don't need to stack HP on her. Oh, if you're C6, you heal, though, a lot. Maybe at C6, you want HP? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'll figure it out. Anyways, um, she seems cool for overload teams. Notably, even, like, Raiden Hyper Carry. Um, not, like, better than, like, Shang Ling and stuff. Like, for that team, like, uh, you'd rather go, like, Rational. But uh, at C6, uh, she could be the last slot in a Raiden Sarah Bennett team. So that's not a bad thing. Um, C6 seems really pog. Outside of that, it's just a, a flat 40% res decrease, which is huge, and some attack percent, and some healing. So, overall, just nice. I, I, I already like her. Uh, I don't think she's gonna be, like, broken, but I like her for, like, uh, more teams. Um, the only thing that's weird is... The only thing that's weird is I still have no clue if you want to go attack or healing. Um, I don't know yet. I'm gonna have to play her and find out. Like, in theory, if you don't care about 20% more attack, which is not that big of a deal because you're running Bennett, Pyro Resonance, Noblesse, you probably go attack and crit. But if you're like, you need to heal and you're not running Bennett, like you have no bet. Let's say you're playing Overload. If you're playing Overload without Bennett, you're probably stupid. But let's say you are. Let's say it's like Yoimiya. No, you can't. Because you, Yoimiya, you'd run Bennett. Raiden, you'd run Bennett. Let's say you're playing like Sino Overload. Let's say you're playing. <laughs> let's say you're playing Sino, Chevreuse, Shang Ling. No, you'd run Bennett there. Fischl. And Beto, three Electro, only Pyro is sub Okay, you're not playing that team, bro. Kuki can heal two on the Electro slot. Are you telling me you want to play Overload Kuki? Is that what you're getting at? Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, sure. Uh, <laughs> sure, <laughs> but instru yeah, you can go Instructor on her. So I don't know. I assume the meta will be Fav, Noblesse, Substats don't matter, and then you just buff your team. But I'm trying to figure out if it's worth going for more healing and some attack percent or go for her personal damage. Probably for like fully optimized her personal damage, but is it really worth optimizing like your Nilu? Maybe not, so I'm not sure. That's the only thing I need to look into. But other than that, she seems pretty straightforward, uh, which is cool. So I'll figure that out. And there's new banners. Woo! Oh, banners! Woo! Oh! These banners are special. Why are they special? Because you get a full fucking team by pulling. What? Yes. So apparently, for some. Listen, you can skip the banner if you want. You can skip the banner if you want. And honestly, a lot of people will, because there's no new characters other than a four star. But, but, 
if you want Raiden or Yoimiya, especially if you want Raiden, these four stars are really good. It's a bait banner. No, well, no. If you want Raiden, it's not bait. If you're like, if you don't want Raiden, if you want a future character, if you are fucking have your cock in your hand and you're like, oh, I just want Chlorine or you don't care about Raiden or maybe you just care about meta, Raiden can be good for your account but isn't like needed, right? Then, yeah, you might be like, oh, bait. Sure, don't pull for it. But if you want Raiden, the four stars are really good because what, okay, here's, you might ask, okay, sucks, 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 sucks. I want to be knowledgeable like you. What makes four star characters on a banner good? Oh, my dear child, let me answer. So you might think, oh, the four stars have to be good. Yes, but that's not it. You, they also need to have constellations that are good because you're going to get, a, you, there's a good chance you get a lot of them by pulling for the five star. So you might get none like Hazo, <laughs> but you want their constellations to be good if you want to pull on that banner. Bennett, good example of this. Yeah, he's been out for like 500 banners, but he's good. His C1 is really, really good. His C5 is great. C6 is okay if you want to activate it. Sara also gets way better with constellations, like C2, especially C6. And same with Chevreuse. She really wants her C6. So if you want Raiden, not only are the four stars good, but you basically get a full team here. Bennett is needed in a lot of her teams. Sara is really good in Raiden hyper carry. Not, I don't like Sara in any other team. That's okay. That's Sara mains are going to kill me, but for the most part, but with Raiden pretty decent. And then Chevalier's also can fit in this team. And this is literally a team. Now you can replace Chevalier's with Kazua, um, but I'm pretty sure C6 Chevalier's performs almost similarly. Now I saw like some like, I saw some like scuffed math where it's like the damage is the same, but like you're not factoring in the Kazuo grouping or the like other shit that he does. But like for the most part, Sugar is actually pretty good in this team. Um, do I recommend this team over like Raiden, Shangling, Singcho? No, but pretty good. And you can get a full team like for free basic, well not for free, but by pulling free Raiden. Yoimiya, similar concept, but not really. Like Bennett works with her, Chevreur's works with her, Sara doesn't, but that's already two characters that like Chevreur's we don't know yet. But there's a good chance that she does synergize with her. Although I doubt you're going to want to bench her like vape team for that. But if you want to play overload, you can. Um, so that's cool. Four stars that synergize with the banner character is very cool, especially for Raiden. Um, wouldn't she be better with Yoimiya? Well, the thing is, she's good in overload teams. It's where do you want to play your overload? The thing with Raiden isn't that you need overload for Raiden. It's that you're playing like if you're playing Raiden hyper carry, you're already running Bennett Sara. So Chevreuse actually does pretty well there. That's the thing. Um, Yoimiya... I think I'm a bit harsh on her. Like, she's fine. I, I genuinely think, like, if you want her, she's decent. She's not, like, amazing. Like, for single... The problem is, it's, like, single target. And it's, like, you'd rather have... Like, for single target, you have Hyper Bloom. And you have... You might have Hu Tao. Or you can get Hu Tao. Or there's, like, a bunch of other options. But, like, she's decent. And there's bosses where she's good. And a lot of Abysses have single target, one boss. So, like, as much as I'm, like, you don't need her, I recognize her potential value. So there's that if you want her. And then for Raiden, she's very versatile because you can play Hyper Bloom, you can play Hyper Carry, you can play Rational. Uh, you can kind of play Aggravate, not really, but you can. Um, and she gets better with like C2, gets better with Engulfing, has a lot of teams. Like, And you can literally, as I said, just Hyper Bloom her. Like if you're like, okay, fuck, I don't like playing Raiden, Hyper Bloom, press E, that's it. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with her. I actually really like Raiden. Um, and Yoimi is fine if you want her. So I like, I actually do like these banners. Apart from the fact that there's like the five stars aren't new, like they're reruns. So if you want to wait for a new character, do that. But if you want them, pretty decent banner for them. Um, although there's no Yunjin for Yumiya, but you don't. I mean, this team wouldn't run it anyway. So why is someone spamming worst limited five star? I can't. Dude, calm down. Do a Yumiya Abyss run? I did two. It honestly was fine. Raiden isn't that bad. No, Raiden is sick. Anyways, for the weapon matter, um, I am very mixed feelings. Very mixed feelings. So the five star weapons are really good, um, but okay, let's go one by one. So Thundering Pulse is basically Bow of Homa, same exact stats, 608 base attack, 66 point something crit damage, and for free 20% attack. Oh mon dieu, 20%! Yeah, you get 20% attack, which is pretty good. You can use it on anyone. But um, yeah, there's some situations where other bows are better, but just that makes it a good stat stick. And for Yoimiya, or technically child, but... Mostly like bow normal attackers, which is primarily Yoimiya. You get a bunch of normal attack damage, which is good. Engulfing Lightning is good for characters that need ER. Amazing for Raiden. Can be good on high ER requirement Shangling teams. Can be good with Shang uh, Shanha. And in general, is just a decent stat stick. Like, would I rather have that or like Homa on my account? Probably Homa. But it's a pretty good stat stick if you want it for Raiden 
or someone like that. Uh, and Thunder Pulse is really good. For the four stars, oh no, but, but also I wanted to say, I mean, I say this in my video, like I, I go into more detail, so watch that, but I don't think engulfing is needed as much as people used to think because there's the catch and there's like even Wave Breaker Finn here with the refinements. There's uh, basically any five star, like Skyward Spine is similar to catch, Homa, Jade Spear, stuff like that is are pretty good on Raiden and you might already have them. And if you're giving one to Shang Ling, you can give like the catch to the other, or you could give Kitane Cross Spear to Shang Ling, or like there's a lot of good pole arms, but engulfing's good. For the four stars, Rust is good for Yoimiya. Outside of that, go fuck yourself. Fab Sword is broken. It's amazing. It's good on literally any sword. Well, any support sword character. It's so fucking good. It's so good that it's it, it can sometimes be good on Bennett, even though the base stack is fucking garbage. Um, you use it on like literally everyone. Very good. Wavebreaker Finn is great with refinements. Without refinements, it's kind of poo-poo. But with refinements, it could be better than the catch or similar, um, depending on your team and burst stuff. Pretty good. Not for every character though, it's mostly for, I was looking through the pole arms, I was thinking of Raiden, Shangling, and um, Rosaria, who could use it. Maybe Shenha, but you don't really want that on Shenha. And I can't really think of anyone else. Zhang Li, yeah, but no. Like, you're not really playing Burst strongly. If you are, sure, but you'd rather go Fav. So yeah, that's like basically it, but since those are the characters you're pulling for, if you're going for like Raiden, then it could be five times. Like, let's say you lose the 50-50 and you have like a bunch of Wavebreaker fins, you could just use that. Uh, Rain Slasher sucks, but it's, well, okay, it doesn't suck. It's okay in Vape the Luke, gives you EM, and uh, damage against Pyro, sorry, Hydro affected opponents. So good for Vape. Outside of that, it's like niche Hyper Bloom stuff for like Dory or Cave, but it's not great. It's just good for like the Luke. Maybe Dea. And then Eye of Perception sucks. So yeah, I actually do like these banners. Uh, if you care about like these these characters. Like if you're waiting for someone, skip. But if you care about the like Raiden or Gremia, they're pretty good. Oh yeah, it's okay for Beto Aggravate. I forgot about that. That's uh, not a bad point. But yeah, that's it. Um, balls.